In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to graph data using a spreadsheet. I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel, but you could do the same thing in OpenOffice, Numbers for Mac. You could even use Google uh, Spreadsheet if you want to do that. And so let's say I do an experiment where I vary the amount of fertilizer that I give a number of plants, and then I measure how much they grow. And this is the data that I get. So you can see that I'm varying it from 2 grams of fertilizer all the way up to 12 grams, and then I'm getting varying amounts of growth. And so if you want to, you could copy the Excel spreadsheet. I'll put it, a link to it down uh, below the video. And you could try doing this on your own. Or you could watch me and then try one of your own. And so I'm going to switch right now to Microsoft Excel. And you can see that I have the data right here. So I've got the fertilizer in this first column. And then I've got plant growth in the second column. I don't need to sort these columns. However, I could do that if I wanted to in Excel. Basically what I do is I want to select the data that I want to include in my chart uh, or my graph. And then I'm going to go to Insert Chart. And what you'll find is that nothing happens because I haven't chosen what type of a graph that I want to do. So I'm going to choose a scatter plot. A scatter plot is great when we're looking at the two numbers or sets of numbers and we want to compare those. And I'm just going to use a marked scatter plot that looks like this. You can see that this is way easier than trying to do it by hand. It's already going to figure out the scale and the axes for you. Um, and so it's, it's much quicker for sure to do this in a spreadsheet. Um, but, but changing the graph is sometimes a little difficult. So I'll walk you around that in Excel. First of all, I, I only have one data set, so I could just select this plant growth and I could delete that. You can see here that we've got a title. That title is not very descriptive. And so to do that, I'm going to give it a, a better title. So I'm going to select that box and I'm going to say relation of fertilizer. Okay, so you can see that my data looks pretty good. There's some space up here that I maybe want to get rid of. And so to do that in here, I'm going to go to chart layout. So it's right next to chart. I'm going to click on chart layout. And then I could change my axes. And so I'm going to go with my vertical axis down to axis options. And so you can see here that I could set my minimum maximum numbers. And so my minimum, since my, my, my values start at 18, I could start with a minimum of 15 and a maximum of 100. And you can see that it's going to give me more of that graph. If I were to do that again for my horizontal axis, so let's go to options. You can see my low value I could set to 2. And my high value, remember, is just going to be 12. And so you can see I'm using more of the graph. Uh, what am I missing now? Well, I don't have labels. So I don't have labels here on my x-axis, and I don't have labels on my y-axis. To do that, I'm going to go to axis title. And so on the horizontal axis, I could add a title below. So now I can put in here my fertilizer. I want to make sure that that's measured in grams. And I can't see that. It's too small. So I could go back to home here. And then I could change the font size so you can see it. And now let's go over on the y-axis. So I'm going to go back to chart layout. I'm going to go to axis on the vertical. And let's make it rotated title. And we'll make that let me get right in here. And that's going to be plant growth. Measure that centimeters. And same thing, I could select all of that. We go back to home here. And we can in increase the font size so you can see it. There we go. So we got a pretty good graph. We've got our major uh, numbers kind of scaled that for us on the side. What am I missing? I'm missing a trend line. So I'm missing that best fit line. And this is why I love using Excel to do this. It took me a while to figure this out. Basically, you select the data first. And then I'm going to chart and I'm going to add a trend line. And you can see that it's going to put in a straight line. But it doesn't look like a linear relationship. It looks like there's a curve. And so I could try a logarithmic or even a polynomial. That looks pretty darn good. And so it's going to give me a, a nice bell nice a uh, best fit line. And so that's my graph. Super easy to do in a spreadsheet, super fast, especially when you have a, a large amount of data, you can crank it uh, really, really quickly. And so that is uh, graphing by spreadsheet. Um, if you'd like me to show you how to graph by hand, you could click on this right here. Or if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love that by clicking right here and subscribe. And I hope that was helpful.